you have is this video is truly inspired action in its truest form, which what is inspired action? Inspired action is, oh, now it goes live. Hi. <laughs> I'm just saying this video is in true inspired action. What is inspired action? It is a gift from the universe that's like, boom, do this now. I was sitting here pondering. My kids are playing. They're waiting for a sitter because it's girls' night tonight. Woo -woo. And I am on day two of an eight-day solo parenting. My husband is out of town and having the best time of his life, and I'm so freaking grateful. But it will be the first one to tell you that like, when I solo parent for a long time, I get in my head about it because... I like my space. I like to share the workload. I like to know that like I'm not the only one that like in the middle of the night has to be responsible. <laughs> and um, not only is my husband out of town for the next eight days, but my parents aren't here. And my parents live less than a mile down the road. They're super helpful. They're so involved in the boys' lives. And so I feel like this is just the next layer of me and the universe is like, okay, Jess, here you go. How is, what is your outlook gonna be the next eight days when you're solo parenting? Thankfully, my parents come home tomorrow night, and I cannot freaking wait to see them on Thursday. I miss them so much. So do my kids. And it will be great to have more hands to help when I need help. But so what does this solo parenting journey for the next eight days, what does it have to do with the lesson I want to talk to you guys about today? This is about really molding. I do this activity every night before I fall asleep. This is about molding your brain, molding your subconscious, because remember, you literally create your reality. This is about molding your subconscious mind for what you want to happen the next day. So how am I doing this? Being a solo parent for the next eight days. Every night before I fall asleep, it's like one of the last things I do before I fall asleep is I think about my manifestations, what I'm calling in next, and also how I want my next day to set up, how I want it to go. And I and what I'm doing as a parent, I'm not sure, maybe. Keep looking. Are you guys playing hide and seek? No. Um, what I'm doing is really priming my subconscious to get behind to create my reality, okay? So what this looks like is being a solo parent for the next eight days is, okay, I'm going to wake up in the morning first. I'm going to have quiet time and do my sacred morning and meditation before my children wake up. I'm going to be present with them. I'm going to be patient with them. They're going to listen the first time, like all these things. And when we get in the car, we're going to like listen to music and dance and have fun and talk about how their school days are going to be and all the things. And then I'm going to have an awesome work day and then I'm going to pick them up. They're going to be excited to see me and we're going to have an awesome dinner together and all these things. So I'm literally planning out if I want the next day to go. I'm literally feeling the feelings of how I want the next day to go instead of leaving it up to chance. Because if you are playing in the chance, you're leaving it up to the universe. You're leaving it up to your thoughts and your feelings. And I can guarantee you, unless you're heavy duty on the mindset work, you aren't formulating the thoughts, the beliefs, the rituals uh, to actually get what you want out of your day. To get what you want out of your life, frankly. You're not manifesting. You're manifesting every moment of every day. But instead, I'm going to invite you to manifest intentionally, which is what I do every night. And what does this have to do with me being a solo parent? For the next eight days. Again, every night before I go to bed, I'm like consciously working about how I want tomorrow to feel like. How do I want it to be? How do I want to interact with the boys? What do I want to do for fun? How do I want to like feel them in the morning? Like, how do I want to snuggle them? Do I want to hold them like this? How do I want that to be? And the same thing is true for your life. And tonight, before you go to bed, try this for me and then come back and report on this video how your next day went. Because I'm going to tell you right now, almost everything that I lay out, even like down to even some of the words that I'm like, oh, Connor's going to ask me for mommy snuggles in the morning. It's this thing that him and I have will almost happen outright when I do this. Okay. So I want you to invite you to prime your subconscious mind, to prime your brain, to, to actually manifest intentionally for your next day, what you want your next day to look like. Okay. How you want to, when you wake up in the morning, do you want to feel rested or exhausted? Uh, what do you, what conversations do you want to have with your family? What do you want to have for breakfast? Like, what are you going to wear tomorrow? Okay. Like start priming your brain right before you fall asleep. And you want to do this because scientifically right before you fall asleep, your subconscious mind is wide open. So you can like sneak little things in there, like thoughts. This is also why I love to create subliminals for my clients or leave them like activations or hypnosis is really good before you fall asleep. Right before you fall asleep, first thing when you wake up in the morning, the best time to meditate too. So try this tonight and come back and report to me how your day went. 
what what did you lay out in your next day that actually happened and how freaking powerful do you feel this is circumstantial power we're tapping into that because it happened and do it over and over and again every day every night that's what i'm doing to get through eight days solo parenting Mommy, i love you I i'll see you guys in the next video thank you can't find a baby no. okay well let's find them together